Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Green, and I am here at the Hack for Neurons Hackathon with Doc.ai at Stanford University. I'm one of the co-founders of Doc.ai. And all of us that are gathered here understand that the blockchain and artificial intelligence and machine learning are about to absolutely change society. But I want to talk briefly about why health and why now. Many, many years ago, my wife Cheryl and I started what the AMA called the first physician website. We jumped online answering questions for, for patients about their own health. And uh, at the time, that was revolutionary. A lot of people don't know this, but the core promise in the Hippocratic Oath is to keep knowledge secret. If you ask someone on the street what the core promise is, they're likely to say, first, do no harm. And that is in there. But the central oath, the reason for the oath, is to keep knowledge of medicine in the control of doctors. And it's hard to imagine this now, but back in the early 1990s, if you had a medical question, it was very difficult to get an answer. Uh, you, you couldn't just jump on your phone, you couldn't jump on your computer, uh, and you couldn't even get into a medical library. If you, if you took time off work, drove to the library, you couldn't get in because patients weren't allowed in. The knowledge was kept locked in by doctors. And since then, I've been doing every day trying to break the Hippocratic Oath and putting real knowledge in people's hands. And now, if you have a medical question, you can jump online, jump on your phone, ask Siri and get an answer even before you're finished with your sentence. But the knowledge that's available online is sort of like magazine knowledge. It is on a magazine on any health topic you're interested in. It, it's available, it's interesting, it's informative. It may or may not be right, you don't know. But the real jewels, the real treasure, the real valuable data is still being kept locked away in hospitals and medical centers and medical records and laboratories. And it, it's not available for real use. And that's what we're about here today. It is opening up the real data vaults so that real meaningful data is in people's hands and that hackers can get to it and scientists can get to it. And it can be distributed through the blockchain in a way that's decentralized, available, usable. And I hope that in just a few years, people will have a hard time imagining what it was like now before it was all available in your own hand.